Hi everyone, I have a new project to share with you today. It is a big birthday cake and I'm using the February 2017 paper pumpkin kit. I've put it over top of a new panel from the kit just so you can see the outline of it. The cake piece is cut out at 3 and 3 quarter inches by 5 and 3 16. Next you're going to need to extend that window on that panel. So line it up on a trimmer along the track of the trimmer and just make sure it's nice and straight and then trim down both sides and leave about the same about I think it's half inch on both sides to make it nice and even and then clean off any edges. To give more definition of the candle display take off about one or two candles on each side and also I did curve the corners at the top of the cake. I'm using the copper foil washi tape from the Affectionately Yours washi tape set and I've laid it on a 1 inch by 11 inch piece of cardstock. We're going to use this die from the Cutie Pie Framelit die set and we're going to create a scallop border all the way across that card piece. And what this is going to be is icing for the cake. Die cut that a few more times until you reach the end. and trim off any bits to clean up the scallop piece. Okay, so now we're just going to measure to make sure we have enough for the top and bottom of the cake. And also when we cut it down we want it to be even. So just double check in there and then we're going to remove that white excess card piece there so that we just have the washi tape. Now I was going to peel the washi tape but I've had a feeling it was going to rip. So I decided that I'm just going to glue down each piece onto the cake. When I glue the bottom one down I decided I'm going to leave a little bit of that flirty flamingo color just to give it some definition and slightly the same for the top piece. And then we'll just remove any excess that's sticking out of the cake. I did mark off a quarter inch above and below the rectangular window. This will serve as a guide so that your foam adhesive tape will be placed nice and straight. And the panel that I've cut out there in Flirty Flamingo, that strip, is actually cut out at 1 and 3 eighths by 5 and a half inches. So the track is not too snug, it's not too loose. And then we're just going to place a little foam adhesive at the end there as a stopper. You don't have to do that, but I thought I'd throw that in. And I'm using black archival ink and we're going to stamp a sentiment on the Flirty Flamingo cardstock. Before you do that, make sure when you flip it over that it is sitting on the track properly and we're going to stamp the celebrate and then we're going to stamp the dots with Bermuda Bay. I didn't have anything on my desk that I could use to mask off the side there other than paper towel and I didn't do a very good job on that end there but we'll fix that in just a second.
I'm going to use that tiny little sunburst from the Shake and Celebrate stamp set, which I believe is retired now. I'm hoping that it'll give off an illusion of flickering candle lights. The white cardstock I'm using is Whisper White at four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Before stamping the happy birthday sentiment, we're going to adhere the cake onto the cardstock first. So just putting that last piece of foam tape on there. And just to let you know, I did stamp it earlier without sticking it down and it came out crooked. I did have to redo that panel and I thought I'd better stick it on first before I stamp the happy birthday sentiment. I stamp that slightly to the left of the window. And the celebrate panel there is sliding in there nice and smoothly. Just to add something nice and flowery, I'm making three flowers using the petite petals stamp set. And I use the color Melon Mambo and punched it out with the coordinating punch. I did do this off screen just to save some time. And we're just going to pop that up with some dimensionals on the left side of the flirty flamingo card panel. And then the other two, we're just going to stick that just below that flower. We're going to create a side folding card base measuring eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And then we'll shorten that flirty flamingo tab. We're going to take off about a good quarter inch, pull out that piece a bit and then line it up on the trimmer just to make sure that it's somewhat straight when you cut it down. And then with your corner chomper, I cut it at the quarter inch mark. And then the stamp set that has the word pull on it, we're going to use that at the end there. And I stamped that with Knight of Navy. Okay, now we're just going to adhere it to the card base. And just so you know, I did remove a good 1 16th of an inch off the top of the white panel, just so that we have some flirty flamingo peeking out at the top there. I thought it added some additional interest to it. I'm hoping you're enjoying these stills. And uh, that's basically the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it inspired you to create this big birthday cake for someone special. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye now.